Alright, so hello and welcome back to another episode of uh, Final Fantasy VI Blindfolded LLG. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what everything that this episode is going to entail. It's just going to be a whole bunch of stuff, really. A bunch of little things that I have to do. One, two, three, four, five. All the way up. So yeah, the first part is definitely the most riveting part of any segment, the auction house. Thankfully I can tell the chests apart from the magicite, which means I won't have to restart every single time trying to find out uh, what is uh, what is chest and what is magicite to make sure that I, I buy the right one. The only th I'm looking for golem right now. And the only thing that could go wrong is uh, me buying Zone Seek instead. Well, I shouldn't say the only thing that could go wrong. The other things that could go wrong include me messing up, but... Okay, that's good. This is a Magicite anyway. I'm pretty sure, at least. I don't know which one it's going to be. If it's Zone Seek, that's no big deal, because I want Zone Seek anyway for later. But if it's Golem, I'll probably just come back to the Auction House at a later time for Zone Seek, because I won't need Zone Seek in the next couple areas. Alright, so I'm not entirely sure how to get out of here. So I'm going to do the guess and check method. I'm actually extremely lucky to get a match set on the first shot. That is really nice. I don't know how to get out of here either, but... I can imagine how it would go. Yeah, figured as much. That was really easy to improv. Uh, whoops. Okay, not sure what else you're gonna see in this segment, but, uh... See you soon. Okay, so it turns out I got the wrong match of sight. I did some off-screen belt farming to get all the cash I need. So, let's try again. One, two, three, four, five. The thing is, uh, I mean, I was still extremely lucky to get either match site on the first shot, so I'm certainly not, I'd certainly be an idiot to complain about not getting the right one, especially when I need this one anyway. It pretty much just means I can't put off any longer uh, doing this. Alright, listen closely for the chest noise. No way, did I get a first shot again? <laughs> or is this one of those uh, silly other things? Like the chocobo or the imp or the airship pieces. I'm not sure I think... <laughs> no way, I got the match of sight first shot both times. That That is just crazy. Man, that shortens the time I have to spend doing this considerably. I couldn't have asked for a better playthrough to have that happen on, too, because... Normally I just fast-forward through that, I'm not recording it, and... It goes really fast, even if I have to retry a dozen times or so. But in this one... It's definitely slow either way. 
like whether I use fast forward or not, and I can't really use fast forward because I'm recording. Alright. I don't know what else will be in this segment, if anything. Alright, well, after that last part of the Brave New World segment, I, I kind of mix and match them today, or rather, this is, these segments have been spanning a lot more than just today. But yeah, I've been kind of mixing and matching, and this is the last part that's being done of the two playthroughs. I I kind of don't feel like doing any more after that humongous Brave New World portion of it, but what can I do? I just want to finish this part off today so I can get on to some more actual dungeoning later next time I do this and don't have to worry about this spot. don't even know why menu tricking Terra's theme plays for a bit. Well, or should I say Awakening? I've always considered this Terra's theme, to be honest. The overworld theme never plays in relation to her, except in the ending, but... All the way right. One step back. All the way out. I was being an idiot in the Brave New World portion of this segment because uh, I forgot the strategy from my first time through this area when I was get out, grabbing the clock elixir. Which, for the record, I probably should have just waited and grabbed it now, but instead of making a whole extra mini segment earlier. So yeah, instead of doing some weird shenanigans with walking down the boiler and then walking back a little bit, all I have to do is go down let right from there. Isn't that nice? Of course, I'm still gonna still gonna do this for a while. Technically, there's a few spaces where I could get away with just walking straight down and out, but... Okay. Apparently, I didn't make it out there. Well, uh, now what do I do? Hopefully if I got stuck in some sort of notch, I might be able to direct myself out that way by going up and right, but it's a bit of a risk because I might end up walking straight out to the middle of Narsh and then I'm never going to escape. I'll probably just get stuck behind an NPC even if I did go the right way. Yep, I got lucky. I'll be interested to see what happened in that little segment that messed me up. But, alright. Gigantic collection of minisodes out. <laughs>